This is a Tallahassee update from the Florida Retail Federation. Hello retailers. The 2013 legislative session opened this week with a state of the state speech by Governor Rick Scott. He unveiled what is likely to be a theme for next year's re-election campaign. It's working. At FRF, we're working for you. Some of our priority legislation is already sailing through committee. Here's some of the action from this week. For our small businesses, Senate Bill 562 by Senator Dorothy Hugel passed the Senate Banking and Insurance Committee this week. This bill will raise the corporate tax exemption from $50,000 to $75,000, eliminating this tax for 2,000 additional small businesses in Florida. It is part of the multi-year effort to eliminate this tax in the state of Florida. On the issue of paid sick leave, I'm happy to share with you that our statewide preemption bill has passed its last committee of reference in the House. House Bill 655 by Representative Steve Precourt passed the House State Affairs Committee yesterday and is now available to move to the House floor for a vote. The, the local governments just do not appear to be equipped to handle the type of debate on these issues that uh, would pit one local government against another local government in developing miscellaneous mandated benefit plans. We look forward to working with Speaker Weatherford to have this bill pulled up for a vote as soon as possible. Wage protection is another issue that concerns local ordinances that impact businesses. Senate Bill 1216 by Senator Rob Bradley will be heard Monday in the Senate Criminal Justice Committee. This bill will not only preempt local governments from passing wage protection ordinances, but it also provides for a statewide system to address the issue of wage theft. On Thursday, the House Health and Human Services Committee also approved House Bill 365 by Representative Hudson on biosimilars. We look forward to working with Representative Hudson as this bill moves forward. Florida Retail Federation has concerns with the notification um, requirement and related to business and retail pharmacies. And now for an issue affecting our tourism impacted retailers. Last year, the House and Senate approved a bill that required international driving permits for those visiting the U.S. This bill has a significant impact for those visiting the state of Florida. Those in the tourism industry felt that it needed to be repealed as soon as possible, and the House and the Senate are doing just that. On Thursday, bills were approved in the House and the Senate to repeal the requirement for international driving permits. And now I have the pleasure of introducing to you our new Director of Government Affairs, Melissa Joyner. Melissa is going to share even more issues with you that we have been actively covering this week in the Florida Legislature. Melissa? Thank you, Samantha. Some other issues that didn't have any action this week but are still at the forefront of this session are e-fairness. Charging online sales tax for purchases made over the internet. Senator Dieter has the bill in the Senate and it's been up in one committee in the past and we're looking forward to moving it forward in the Finance and Tax Committee soon. Some challenges have presented itself, but we are moving forward and working hard and taking a vote count in the Senate. Our issue is back to school sales tax holiday. This is a big issue for the Retail Federation and I'm sure it's a big issue for you. I personally look forward to saving on sales tax as I do back to school shopping. First, we have to wait for the appropriations process to take form. This year, the bill includes a tax exemption on computers as well. This is the first year we're including this but we feel that computers are essentially a back-to-school item at this point. Final issue I'd like to update you on is the pharmacy technician ratio. Right now, in a pharmacy, you're allowed three technicians per pharmacist. We'd like to increase that to six. This will allow our retailers to serve their customers better and create jobs in the state of Florida. We look forward to getting this bill on the agenda in committee soon. Thank you for tuning in, and as a reminder, we will be here every week giving you updates on what's happening in the Capitol and what's important to retailers across Florida.